Well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. How are y'all doing tonight? I hope you're doing great. Um, my cat is not here tonight. She just she's sleeping on my other chair in the living room. I called her to come in. You know, I'm a little bit late, but I have got to go get me some water. I fixed me some water to bring in here, and I forgot it. But I want to show you my shirt. Be still and know. Psalms 46.10. One of my favorite verses. I'll be right back. So oh, sorry. Just had to go. Also had to go and put something on for Seth to watch. Okay. Well, I hope you had an awesome day. I had a pretty awesome day. I cleaned out my pantry today and realized that I did not have um, as much food as I thought I did after I threw some away. That wasn't any good. So I got to go shopping again, but it is nice. I can open my pantry door and I can see everything. Everything was all mixed up and just thrown in there. And now I can see everything. We're going to do Psalm 40 tonight and we may do Matthew 6. I'm not sure if we're going to do Matthew 6 or not. That was my daily reading today. It was really good. I want to share with you what I wrote yesterday about waiting on the Lord. And uh, anyway, it's going to be a good night. Welcome, uh, everyone. Everyone, welcome. All right, I'm going to pray. I have a friend that's sick. I'm going to pray for them and their family. Um, so if you would, um, if you watch this later, and would you please pray for my friend? Friend, family member, I've known him since I was in high school. Just pray for him and his family. He is very sick. God, we just come to you and we just, um, we praise you, God, that you are on your throne and you are in control, God. And there is nothing, there's absolutely nothing that you do not see in here. There is nothing that is hidden from you, God. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You are the great Jehovah, the great I am. You are Jehovah Shalom. You are magnificent and powerful and mighty, God. And you are miraculous. You still perform miracles, God. A million little miracles, things that we don't even see or hear. And God, you are the righteous judge that will judge all unrighteousness, not according to the world's truth, but according to your truths that are in your word. And God, you are loving and caring and compassionate and faithful and trustworthy. And you are patient, God. You want none to perish. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for calling us as your children. We love you with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength. And God, we just pray for the lost. We just pray, God, that you would open their eyes and their ears and their hearts to the truth, that you would allow the Holy Spirit to draw them to Jesus so they could be saved. God, we pray for prodigals to return. We just pray for them to see where they are, to remember the relationship that they had with you and Jesus and the Holy Spirit, 
at one time and for them to repent and for them to be reconciled, God. We pray for all the disasters that are going on, God. We especially pray for these people that are in the midst of this volcano eruption that has taken in so many houses, so many buildings, God, with the lava flow. We pray for their safety. We pray for an escape. If if they need to escape, we pray for an escape. We pray for their needs to be met by the hands and feet of Jesus, the loving compassion of Jesus. And God, I just want to lift up my friend, my brother-in-law. I just want to lift him up to you right now, God, and just pray that you would heal his body. God, that you would strengthen his body. That you would give his family strength, God, during this time. And God, we know that um, we all have an arrival date. We all have a departure date. God, I believe in praying for healing until the last second. And God, sometimes, sadly, your answer is no. And sometimes it's yes. But we trust you, God. We trust you, and it's just another thing that we have to wait for, but we will wait on you because we trust you, God. So I just lift them up. I just pray that they would feel your presence, God, during this time. And God, I pray for um, all other people that are sick. God, I pray for healing. I pray for strength for families, God. I pray for people that have lost loved ones, God. There's been so much loss over the last few years, God. Just people that we just can't believe that they're gone, God. But we know if they are with you, God, that they are experiencing something that we can only imagine. And God, I just pray that you would give these people peace, comfort, and strength, that they would feel your presence, God, that they would know that their family member is experiencing perfect peace, perfect beauty, perfect love, perfect unity, perfect joy, and perfect everything. <laughs> Everywhere they look and everything that they see is your perfect creation, God. I just pray that they could focus on that, God. And that if their family member was sick, God, that they will never have pain again. That there is no pain, no sorrow, no, no sickness. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. My throat started tickling. I bought me a promise cup this year. I really like my promise cup because it's not this huge cup that I have. My other cup looks so big. This one looks about right, but actually it is not as big as what it looks. Maybe it is. I don't know. Anyway, I'm glad that you are here. I'm going to read this first, what I wrote on Facebook yesterday. I'm sorry, my nose itches. YouTube will probably capture that as my thumbnail. They usually capture lovely things. Okay. I'm being sarcastic because they're usually not. Okay. Well, I love this song and message by Elevation Worship in Maverick City Music. I have been singing this song off and on, off and on for days. Like I woke up singing it today too. I love the lyrics of this song. I dislike waiting like most people, but sometimes we have to wait on God. To work out all the details and yes we have to wait you know he does require us to wait when we wait we can grumble or we can wait trusting that all will work out for his glory we can pray and praise while we wait 
We can learn while we wait. We can trust while we wait. We can even fast while we wait. And we can be thankful while we wait. I feel like I'm not waiting alone. I feel like this is a message for someone. And I wanted to share it last night, but I just ran out of time. And once I ran out of time, I was just like, after a certain length of time, if I don't have my makeup on and my hair fixed, then I'm just, you know, I'm ready for bed. I feel like many are waiting for an answer to prayer. Many are going through a storm. Many are waiting for solutions and outcomes from God. God knows we are waiting because he knows every part of our lives. He wants us to learn to wait. We live in an instant world, though, and it is challenging. But we need to remember that God does not always work instantly, and he doesn't. I have had some instant um answers to prayer and it is so great when you get that instant answer but there are more times that I have to sit and I have to wait for that answer and when it comes it is worth the wait that was just some adding that I added to that I'm sorry, I got a phone call from my friend. Uh, she's probably riding back from work, but I need to do this. I'll send her a message if she calls me again. Um, where was I? It is challenging, but we need to remember that God, God does not always work instantly. He works in his own perfect timing and according to his plans and purposes for his kingdom, and yes, for us. He wants the very best for us. If we will wait on him, all will work out according to his perfect plans. But, and this is the verse, but they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary and they shall walk and not faint. And that is Isaiah 40, 31. Wait on the Lord. All right, so that is what I shared yesterday. I really felt very strongly that God wanted me to share that song since he had put it in front of my face so many times. Every time I got in my car, it was on the radio. Um, I felt like somebody needed this message. Maybe it was me. Maybe I needed to be reminded that sometimes I have to wait. I actually am waiting on something, a, a calling that I really felt very called to, but things just haven't worked out. And But God keeps telling me it's not time. The time's not right. So I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the time to be right. Right now, I seem to be very busy. I seem to can keep myself busy at home. So I don't know. When the time is right, God will, will make it all work out. So please, if you are praying about something and you're thinking, um, oh, lost my reply. And if you are thinking, um, God is never going to answer this prayer, then please keep waiting. And in the meantime, pray. Pray and praise and um, be thankful. Be thankful while you wait. Okay, so Psalm 40. Faith, persevering in trial. So that's kind of what we're talking about tonight. To the chief musician, a Psalm of David. And so... The picture that I shared to let people know that I was going to do this live um, had had that on there about waiting. It's this verse right here. I waited patiently for the Lord and he inclined to me and heard my cry. He also brought me up out of a horrible pit, out of the miry clay and set my feet upon a rock. 
and establish my steps. He has put a new song in my mouth. Praise to our God. Many will see it in fear and will trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust and does not respect the proud nor such as turn aside to lies. Many, O Lord my God, are your wonderful works which you have done and your thoughts toward us cannot be recounted to you in order. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than can be numbered. Wow, that's powerful because what I shared the other night was one of the songs that um, Elevation Worship for Elevation Worship Nights played was A Million Little Miracles. So see, we can't even number, we can't number the good things that God has done in our lives, the thoughts that he's had towards us. Sacrifice in offering you did not desire. My ears you have opened. Burnt offering and sin offering you did not require. Then I said, Behold, I come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God, and your law is within my heart. I have proclaimed the good news of righteousness in the great assembly. Indeed, I do not restrain my lips. O Lord, you yourself know, I have not hidden your righteousness within my heart. I have declared your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your loving kindness and your truth. From the great assembly, do not withhold your tender mercies from me, O Lord. Let your loving kindness and your truth continually preserve me, for innumerable evils have surrounded me. My iniquities have overtaken me so that I am not able to look up. They are more than the hairs of my head. Therefore, my heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be ashamed and brought to mutual confusion who seek to destroy my life. Let them be driven backward and brought to dishonor, who wish me evil. Let them be confounded because of their shame, who say to me, Aha, aha. Let all those who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. Let such as love your salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But I am poor and needy, yet the Lord thinks upon me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, oh my God. Wow, that is so good. And that, not by any coincidence, it goes with what I just got through reading you. I waited patiently for the Lord. We do have to wait patiently for the Lord. And sometimes things look like, oh my goodness, this is not going to work out. But it will. If we wait on God, he is working out all the details. He knows all the details. He's working them out. He knows all the solutions and he knows all the outcomes. So we just need to trust him and wait on him. And it's hard. I'm not saying that it's easy. It is a hard thing to do. But we can do it. We can do it. We just have to persevere. We just have to hang in there. And keep waiting on him and watch him deliver us and watch him take care of our enemies. He's the one that will battle your enemies, not you. He will. So let's see what the study part of this says. It says, all those who wait on the Lord in patient expectation will discover security and refreshing newness in fellowship with him. This poet began by praising the Lord for answered prayer. He had waited on the Lord in patient expectation and was not disappointed. The Lord responded to his cry for help and gave him stability and a new song, which became his testimony to others. The Lord gave the poet firm footing, a new stability resulting from his relationship with the Lord. So the next part of this says the Old Testament sacrificial system is not rejected 
but sacrifice and offering are worthless if not presented to God with the right attitude. Acts of worship are meaningless. Ritual, if not accompanied by obedience. The sacrifice of self-will and self-importance is the primary sacrifice that God desires. So we sacrifice to him what we want, what our will is, and we humble ourselves that we are not as important as he is. All right. Well, I don't think I'm going to read Matthew tonight. I think I'm going to go straight to a salvation message. I'm trying to keep my things around 30 minutes. I think that's a good time. It gives me time to get on here and to share and to pray and to learn along with you because as I read this, I'm learning too. Yes, I've read these many times, but I learn something new every time I read the Bible. So what salvation message would we like to do? Hmm. I've done all these lately. I guess we'll start all over with. No, oh, this one's really hard to read. Okay, we'll do this. I like this though, but it's really, it's so tiny. Let me show you how tiny it is. My eyesight is nearly not good enough for this anymore. It's so tiny. I need to, I'm afraid I'm going to have to get bifocals next time because I've noticed that my right eye is, I can't even read with my right eye when I shut it and try to read up close. Okay, but it says key to life. And this is really short. I got this at the Youth Evangelism Conference one year. And didn't know for about a year or two that I had it. Okay. Key to life. God loves you and has a great plan for your life. Jesus said, my purpose is to give life in all its fullness. John 10.10 10. Sin separates you from God. We are all sinners. Romans 3.23 the price for sin is death. Romans 6.23 The price is already... I'm sorry, but I'm having to get it at an angle. The price is already paid. God showed his great love for us by sending Christ to die for us while we were still sinners. Romans 5.8 Jesus bridged the gap of separation between God and man. Jesus is the only way. It's free. Salvation is free. Eternal salvation is a free gift. Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. You don't earn or work your way to heaven by morality or religion. Jesus is the key to life. You know, I saw a message about this the other day. I want to share this with you really quickly. Because the world says that there are many ways to get to heaven. There are many religions that will get you to heaven, that it's all the same. But if that's true, then why in God's word did Jesus himself say, I am the way. I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now, if it was true that there were other ways to get to heaven, then Jesus would have said, I'm a way. I'm a way. I am a truth. I am a life. But he didn't. He said the. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. So it's up to you 
to ask Jesus into your heart. Pray, Jesus, I ask you into my heart to be my Savior and Lord. Forgive my sins and give me the gift of eternal life. In Jesus' name, I pray. It says, it is important to be baptized, go to church, pray, and read your Bible, and share with others what Jesus has done for you. And this is the Gospel Key Tag Mini, is what this is called. So if you invited Jesus to be your Savior, I know that prayer was not very long at all. If you believe that Jesus is the only way, then welcome to the kingdom family of God. The angels are rejoicing, and your name is being written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You're now saved, sealed, and sanctified by God through Jesus, his Son. And if you want to learn more about Jesus, then start reading God's Word. Start in Matthew and read about, do Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John and read all about Jesus. You just accepted Jesus into your heart to be your Savior. So read about him. Read about the things that he did. Read about who he is and how much he loves you and how he gave his life for not only you and me, but for the each entire world. He died for everyone. Okay, well, it is time for me to give you God's blessing and to pray and get off of here. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, please put them in. If you have any prayer requests, please put those in too. Uh, number 624 through 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. So, we all need peace. I'm sorry, I was thinking about my friend that's sick. She's been kind of sad and kind of in shock today about that. She's praying that he rallies. He has children, he has grandchildren. He's actually younger than I am, but he has a debilitating disease also. All right, well, I am going to pray, and I've got to get off of here so I can go fix that some dinner. God, we just come to you, and we thank you. We thank you for this time to learn more about your word, God, to read your word, to study your word. just to share your truths, God, to share the gospel of Jesus. We thank you for the opportunity. I just pray that you would bless anyone that comes on here and their families abundantly, God, that you would protect them, that you would provide for them, that you would bless them. God, I just pray that you would lead and guide them also. God, we just pray that you would give us boldness to go out and share your truths every day and to share the gospel of Jesus. That you would just help us to walk closer and closer to Jesus all the time. And I just lift up my friend to you again and, and his family, God. I just pray for healing. I pray for peace, God. I just pray for everyone. God, I pray for my other friend. I pray for her mother-in-law. I pray for healing, God. I just pray that you would be with this family, too. 
all the other people that are sick, God, that I say that I'm praying for, I pray for them also. God, for healing that people would trust you in their healing process. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right. Well, my pray and share warriors, tomorrow is Wednesday, so I will not be here tomorrow night. I will be at youth. And um, have an awesome rest of your night and an awesome tomorrow. Much love and cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night.